I'd like to introduce you to a contemporary artist named James Rizzi. James Rizzi is still alive and creating works of art today. His style of art is very flat and almost looks like a cartoon. But one thing that he does a lot of are cityscapes. Cityscapes show buildings and other things that have to do with being in a city. Windows and doors. But what else do you notice about James Rizzi's cities? That's right. He also includes silly, happy, funny faces on his buildings. This gives his artwork so much personality. The buildings are like a person, each unique and individual. Today we're going to start a project inspired by James Rizzi's Silly Funny Happy Cities. Let's get started. Let's start on our James Rizzi inspired cityscapes. So the first thing that you need to do is draw the cities, the buildings, and a great shape for drawing buildings are rectangles. But we wanna make sure that our rectangles are nice and wide. They should be about four fingers thick to be able to fit them in those funny faces in the buildings. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to start drawing some buildings. with rectangle shapes. And I'm making some taller, some shorter, to give my city some variety. Okay, so these are the cities, the buildings in the front. So now I'm going to start adding some buildings behind these buildings. All right, I think that's good. So I've got my buildings in the front. I've got a couple buildings in the back behind these buildings. So now what I'm going to do is start adding some silly, funny, happy faces to my buildings. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pick and choose which eyes I want and then add the mouth to give these buildings some personality and character. I'm all done adding silly funny faces to my buildings. One thing I wanna point out though, is that if you don't see an eye, a type of eyes or a type of mouth that you want to add to yours and you want to use your imagination and um, add your own silly funny faces that you don't see on the paper, that would be fine. That is always allowed in art class. So after I finished, um, drawing my silly faces. The next step is to add windows and doors because no building is complete without windows and doors. After you finish drawing all of your windows and doors and faces on your buildings, then you can put this away because we're going to save the next part. Part two is all about coloring with crayons and coloring the buildings. We'll do that next class. 